Good morning, morning bucket, bucket fillers. fillers! It's a great day to be a bucket filler at Forest Hill Elementary School. These third graders are gonna help us get ourselves ready to learn. We're gonna start by taking our deep breaths. Ready, students? Here we go, deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. In, smell those flowers and blow out those candles. All right, now we're gonna repeat after these amazing students we're going to fill our buckets with amazing thoughts and feelings about ourselves that we can share with others throughout the day. Here we go. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I'm unique. I am unique. I, I'm brave. I am brave. I'm smart. I am smart. I am kind. I am kind. You're my friend. You're my friend. I'm nice. I am nice. Thank y'all, everybody. Wave bye, everybody. Awesome. Hi, bucket fillers. We've been talking this week about how to keep anger out of our hearts, anger out of our buckets. And there are a lot of different ways that we can do that. We can ignore some things. We can forgive people. We can let things go. Um, we can walk away, we can count to 10 before we say or do something that could hurt someone's heart. Um, we freeze our hands when we get upset and then just tell our heart to be happy again. We can tell our heart to forgive. We can play video games if we're at home. We can sing a happy song. We can draw a picture. We can think about something else instead of the thing that upset us. But everybody gets angry. Everybody feels anger. We just don't wanna feel it all day and all night and every day and every night. We don't wanna be that person. We want our bucket to be full of happy thoughts and feelings about ourselves and about other people too. Now, if someone stole my $1 million bill do you think I would be mad about that? I would be upset and angry that someone would steal my $1 million bill. And you know, I would probably call the police, the FBI and say, would you please find my $1 million bill? But you know what? They might never find my $1 million bill. I may have lost that $1 million bill. It may be stolen forever. And you know what? I'm gonna have to forgive. Whoever stole my $1 million bill, I choose to forgive them. Because I don't wanna stay mad my whole life. I don't wanna be mad about it forever. I'm a bucket filler, right? So I gotta just say, bye bye one million dollars. I loved you when I had you, but I forgive the person who took it. And I hope that they feel bad about it. <laughs> Y'all didn't know I had a million dollars, did you? It's things you just don't know. Remember this, it's okay to get mad or angry. Anger is sometimes our first feeling, but it doesn't have to be our final feeling. It may be the first feeling you feel when a situation happens, but it doesn't have to be your final feeling. You can say no to angry mood. You can say no to an angry mindset. You can think about the situation differently Okay, anger may be your first feeling, but it does not have to be your final last feeling. You decide how you're gonna feel about it. You decide and you don't have to stay mad. You have the power, you have the power 
to keep love in your heart. You have the power to stay calm and peaceful today. Anger can come in just as fast. You can push it out. You are amazing. Good morning, Bucket Fillers. This week we've been talking about anger. And today I have some fifth graders this morning who are going to help us play a game. So while they're playing the game here, we want you to play the game as well. This is a stand up, sit down game. So everybody gets mad, but not everybody gets mad at the same time about the same thing. So we're just curious to see what these students get mad about. Okay, so stand up if you get mad about being teased. Stand up. Okay, about half of them, y'all can sit down. Stand up if you get mad when you lose a game. That can be a video game or a game in PE. You get mad when you lose a game. All right, okay, sit down. Stand up if you get mad if someone skips you in line. Someone skips you in line, it makes you upset. Okay. <laughs> Stand up if you get mad when you get a bad grade. Bad, how about, yeah. Oh, there we go. Wow. 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 Okay, sit down. Stand up. If you get upset when you get a bad conduct grade, like behavior grade, like an N or U, you get mad about that. When you go home with an N or U, you get mad. Okay. All right, frustrated. Okay, have a seat. Okay, stand up if you get mad, if you are laughed at. If when someone laughs at you, you get upset about it. Okay, sit down. What if a friend borrows something from you and you get it back broken? Oh goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, sit down, okay. Now listen, when you get upset, everything does not have to be a fight. Some things can just be a conversation. Y'all say conversation. Conversation! It doesn't have to be, everything's not a fight. Some things can be a calm, kind, respectful conversation to work it out, okay? What about this? Do you get mad if you're playing a game with somebody and you catch them cheating? <laughs> Somebody's feeling the feeling right now. Okay, have a seat. What if you find out that someone is saying things about you that are not true? That can be upsetting, disappointing, definitely. Okay, have a seat. Now, not everything has to be a what? Fight. Fight. Some things, most things are, actually all things can be handled with just a what? Conversation. conversation, a respectful conversation. Now, sometimes you need to get somebody else, a grown-up, to help you have that respectful conversation, right? Yes. But you can have a respectful conversation, okay, and communicate your feelings respectfully. What about um, someone you know is having a party and you're not invited? Does that make you upset, angry? No, I would probably just have hurt feelings, maybe, right? Instead of being angry. But some people do get angry. Okay, what if someone borrows something from you without asking? Okay, yeah, somebody said that, yeah, they, they, they could be stealing or, or, yeah. Okay, have a seat. Okay, now... Not everything is a what? Fight. You can handle conflict with what? Conversation. A respectful conversation. 
such as, hey, um, please don't skip me in line again. Or hey, can you please go back to where you were? No one likes being skipped in line, okay? Or if you catch somebody cheating in a game, just say, uh, I saw that or I know what you're doing and I'm not gonna play this game with you unless you can play what? Fairly. 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 Unless you can play fairly, I can't play this game with you. So there are a lot of ways you can handle things with your words. Kind, respectful, honest words. Didn't they do a good job saying? We love you guys. Fill Bye. a bucket, fill a bucket every day, every day. I love fill a bucket, I love fill a bucket. You can too, you can too. All right, for the month of October, I am asking you not to let any obstacles get in your way for attending school. I need you here every day, on time, staying all day with no early dismissals. So obstacles is the clue for your next October challenge for attendance. Let me know if you figure out what it is. Be Woo! at school. Help save a life, donate today. Help save a life, donate today. Help save a life, donate today. Help save a life. Donate today. Have you donated today? Woo, to the United Way. Good job.